so for my visual communication design folio, I created um, two products that were related but um, separate. So what I created was a series of illustrations for a children's book called Monsters Only Eat Smelly Children, and then I created a product design for a children's perfume called Monster Repellent. And so a lot of what inspired me for both products were what appeals to children and what think makes things a little bit more comfortable. I wanted to experiment with um, that fear that children have of, of, of monsters and creepy creatures and things like that, and I wanted to um, alleviate that a little bit through my designs. I've got a vested interest in motorsport myself and um, thought I'd focus my time this year on making something I can actually use after school and this is something I can definitely make use of. The production itself spanned over a period of about two months, um, working bits and pieces and researching how I should be doing it and yeah, about two months all, all up. So Swept Away, it's about a high school student named Oliver who's in love with the most popular girl in school, Scarlett. He's a bit of a dork and he wants to try and impress her and there's been some murders going on around her. So he's decided he's taken it upon him to solve all these murders. My inspiration, I guess, was just everyday TV shows, you know, where you see a guy meets a girl, tries to impress a girl. But I wanted to put like a comedic twist on it. So I decided to go with the murder mystery. The original couch I had downstairs was uh, rotten and it needed a replacement. But I'm also really uh, intrigued by modern design and things and where it can lead us. Within the couch, there, um, underneath, there's spherical casters, which allow movement in every direction, which also allows the couch to slide apart um, and reveal the midsection table, which is on drawer runners. Uh, the armrests also act as bookshelves as well. So I design something on a computer, uh, just an image, and it uses lines to then uh, send through to the control unit, which is under the table, um, and then the stepper motors uh, move appropriately according to the image to create the lines on the material. The illusion of wealth was more about showing how religion and wealth aren't really in collaboration. So I wanted to show that there can be like an, a symbol of religion um, but without like gold, like covering a statue with gold or anything. I love Gustav Klimt's work, uh, The Kiss specifically. Um, he inspired me with gold leaf and his work there. The inspiration for my pieces was just looking at the world around me, including a lot of people watching and just observing behaviour. Uh, the hardest component of this project was working with the resin, which included a lot of organisation and controlling the medium. My dad needed a new trolley for my go-kart to and make it easier for him to work on it. The go-kart basically sits on top here and then you can put four tyres in here and then tools in here and any spare parts in the bottom. I've seen lots of trolleys at race meetings and I just decided to, that I really want a trolley that I could you know, use and have the best in the pits. For my systems engineering project this year I made a stringless laser harp. So it involves an Arduino, um, eight lasers and eight laser sensors at the top here and it plays music when I strum it like this, sending messages to my computer. It was pretty difficult to make. Um, most of the encounters, like the troubles I encountered, were actually lining up the lasers with the sensors at the top. It took quite a while. And trying to figure out how to actually get it to send messages to the computer. I used to live on 20 acres in Upper Beaconsfield and I love, I love land and I do love horses. We used to own horses as well and I, I've always had the opportunity to venture up and camp in the high country and I think it's really beautiful and I thought it'd give other people who haven't had the opportunity to sort of see how beautiful it is and maybe encourage them to go and see it for themselves. For systems engineering this year I've made a glove controlled robot. It is controlled wirelessly, will move based on which direction you're tilting your hand. So if you tilt it forward, it'll go forward, backwards, backward, left and right. I'd never done Arduino before this year and I'd never experimented with wireless either. So. I had to learn everything from scratch as I went. Some people don't even know that asylum seekers go through such hardship and I just thought it was really awful that they didn't. Basically this is a um, asylum seeker that is seeking asylum, so like in the travelling phase and this is, a, um, it's, this is a past asylum seeker that has found somewhere to stay. So basically um, these ones the colours convey like the sadness, so like one of my friends said it was a sad rainbow. So um, basically it's just... Um, showing their emotions and how they're um, emotionally um, in 
incapable of feeling anything else but sadness just because they've gone through such hardship um, during their time. And then this one is about how they're really happy because um, they've found somewhere to stay and they're accepted in the society.